uh, let us now study an important topic called karyotyping which is also called as ideogram this is very important question for the undergraduate and even the postgraduate students to know what exactly is karyotyping there is a definite definition for it it is a process of sequential arrangement of homologous pairs of chromosomes according to the descending order of the height and according to the position of the centromere on a photostatic spread during metaphase of a cell division i repeat this is the actual definition it is the process of sequential arrangement of homologous pairs of chromosomes according to the descending order of the height and according to the position of a centromere on a photostatic spread during metaphase of a cell division nowadays this karyotyping is done on electronic device but in older days it was manually done in the laboratory and after doing that according to denver london system of classification i repeat denver london system of classification in 1960 the chromosomes including the sex chromosomes that means both the autosomes and sex chromosomes are arranged in the form of seven groups a b c d e f g and the sex chromosomes so in the a group which includes first three pairs of chromosomes these are tall metacentric next b group which includes fourth and fifth pair of chromosomes which are fairly long submetacentric so metacentric i am using black color here submetacentric blue and acrocentric red so the second pair is b group including 4 and 5 which are fairly long submetacentric type of chromosomes third group which includes sixth pair to 12th pair are medium sized submetacentric chromosomes and mind you the x chromosome belongs to this group then fourth one is d group which are acrocentric and it includes 13th 14th 15th pair of chromosomes e group includes 16 17th 18th pair of chromosomes and these are short submetacentric and f group includes 19 and 20th pair of chromosomes and these are short metacentric chromosomes that's why with black i have shown and g group which includes 21 and 22 pair of chromosomes these are short acrocentric so the acrocentric chromosomes are belonging to d group and g group and they present a small fusiform body along its short arm hence this group of chromosomes are also called satellite chromosomes or sat chromosomes concerned with the reorganization of the nucleoli okay and the y chromosome belonging to the male falls under this category it belongs to g group so x chromosome belongs to c group y chromosome belongs to g group in the charts which are placed in various medical schools either they will if it is a female chart they might show 2x here if it is a male one one x chromosome and one chromosome y denoting here suggesting that it is a normal male or a female karyotyping now coming to the procedure of doing karyotyping how it is done so the best way to remember is by writing five steps 
to know better or to remember better about that five steps you remember a mnemonic collect plants in harvesting station so for collect it is collection of blood for plants it is planting for in that is i it is incubation for harvesting the same term harvesting and for school it is s for staining i repeat these are the five steps which are involved in doing karyotyping number 1 it is a collection of blood sample so the blood is collected from a vein from a peripheral vein in sterile conditions or under aseptic conditions in a heparinized syringe that heparinized syringe is to prevent the blood clot number 2 planting the second step is planting in planting means after the blood is collected it is it is uh, transferred to two or three culture vials for safety instead of one two or three if so some one is lost there should be another one so likewise two or three culture vials this blood is uh, sent into this culture vials and this culture vial will contain culture medium fetal calf serum phyta hemagglutinin and antibiotics so this culture medium the trade names are ham f10 tc199 is the culture medium which they use number 2 fetal calf serum or human ab serum this is in the culture vial it should be present because it has to nourish the cultured cells this will nourish the cultured cells and this one number 3 here phyta hemagglutinin it is a mitogenic agent it helps in the mitosis of the cells and the fourth one antibiotics it is to be added to the culture vial to prevent the bacterial growth and usually the one preferred are either penicillin streptomycin etc next third step is incubation the content is then incubated at 37 degrees for 3 days fourth step is harvesting so after doing incubation for 3 days that is after around 72 hours colchicin a drug is added that colchicin is a it 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 arrest the cells at metaphase by preventing the formation of achromatic spindle so 2 hours after adding colchicin then the content is sent into a centrifuge tube for centrifugation that is done for 5 minutes after that the supernatant that is the superficial part of the content is discarded and the bottom content is treated with hypotonic solution this hypotonic solution is needed there to which makes the chromat chromosomes to swell and the chromatids to separate then it is it is treated with a fixative the fixative usually is glacial acetic acid and methanol in the ratio of 1 is to 3 so after three successive changes of fixation the pellet containing superficial cells within half milliliter of the fixative is then poured on a chilled slide a slide which is taken out from a refrigerator on the chilled slide that content is poured why that chilled slide means it will make the chromosomes to separate then we need to stain it the staining commonly used is gimsa banding or g staining the other procedures which also can be adapted is q banding r banding or c banding after this the identical chromosomes are arranged based on its height based on its position of centromere and then a photograph is taken and that procedure is this that is called as the karyotyping now you see the definition again it is a process of sequential arrangement of chromosomes in the order of the height that means from the ascending to descending and in the order of centromeres 
so in this group the centromeres are metacentric like i mean the it is a, it is in the center here it is somewhere in the upper part that's why we are calling it as sub metacentric like this so finally the definition is which every student should know it is a process of sequential arrangement of homologous pairs of chromosomes according to the descending order of the height and according to the position of the centromeres on a photostatic spread during metaphase of a cell division is it clear now lastly what are the uses of this so karyotyping it gives us early clinical diagnosis it gives us to know the gene mapping that is the location of the genes in a chromosome it it has a role in the cancer in detecting a cancer like philadelphia chromosome in cml long axis of that the translocation of 22 to long arm of the 22 pair of chromosome to 9 similarly it gives us to the antenatal diagnostics technique it is one of it so all these are the uses of and it also helps us to prevent the repeated fetal loss so these are the uses of karyotyping overall this is all about the karyotyping thank you